Welcome to Cisco's Hybrid Cloud demo for a solution that addresses two common hybrid cloud use cases, namely backup and restore and application mobility between on-prem and public cloud using Cisco Intersight, Cisco Hyperflex, Amazon Web Services, Red Hat OpenShift Container Platform, and Kasten K10 from Veeam. This solution builds on a previous Cisco validated design, which delivered an enterprise class hybrid cloud solution for hosting cloud native workloads. The earlier solution addressed two use cases, namely enabling cloud native environments anywhere from on-prem to public cloud with consistent operational and development experience. And the dev test use case, here an organization may start their development work in the cloud, but then bring the application on-prem for staging and production. To support this, enterprises need multiple Kubernetes environments for the multiple teams that support the build release cycle for a given application. We will use the foundational architecture and solution for these use cases to support the new use cases in this demo, that is backup and restore, to protect your cloud native applications and data wherever it is deployed, and application mobility to move applications as needed across a hybrid cloud deployment. To support these use cases, the original solution is expanded to include a common data management platform that spans both on-prem and public cloud Kubernetes environments. Before we start the demo, let's first quickly review the overall solution, starting with the original solution. The public cloud in the solution is AWS with IPsec VPN, providing secure connectivity between the two locations. The on-prem infrastructure in the solution is provided by Cisco Hyperflex, deployed and managed from the cloud using Cisco Intersight. Cisco Hyperflex delivers a production-ready, enterprise-class, virtual server infrastructure with software-defined compute and storage. The complete Hyperflex VSI cluster is deployed from Cisco Intersight using a fully automated process. Post-deployment, Cisco Intersight also provides day two management and operations with features such as cluster expansion, storage management, and tools for opening support cases, doing cluster health checks, and monitoring the storage performance, IOPS latency, etc. For container orchestration and management, the solution uses Red Hat's Hybrid Cloud Console and OpenShift Container Platform to deploy and manage the Kubernetes environments in the hybrid cloud environment. This enables enterprises to deploy workloads anywhere with consistent management across both on-prem and public cloud. To provide persistent storage for the stateful container workloads on-prem, the solution uses Hyperflex CSI to access the data stores on the underlying Hyperflex storage. The Hyperflex CSI plugin is Red Hat certified and can be deployed on any cluster from the Red Hat Operator Hub using a simple click and install process. Solution also uses Red Hat Ansible to deliver infrastructure as code and Cisco Intersight Workload Optimizer to optimize both on-prem and public cloud resources and ensure application performance across this environment. This summarizes at a high level the foundational hybrid cloud solution but to support the new use cases in this demo, that is backup and restore and application mobility, the solution will use CAST and K10 from Veeam as a common data management solution across both on-prem and public cloud. CAST and K10 will not only protect an organization's cloud native applications and data in both locations, but it will also enable organizations to move applications between cloud and on-prem as needed for upgrades, load balancing, etc. CAST and K10 is an easy to use extensible Cloud native data management solution that is deployed as an operator from Red Hat's Operator Hub. The application that we will use for this demo is an e commerce cloud native application called SockShop. The scenario that we will look at in this demo is to take an enterprise's cloud native application that was developed and tested in the cloud and bring it back on prem for staging and production. We will use CAST and K10 to first back up the application and verify that we can restore it if needed. And then we will show how that same application, including all configuration and data, can be migrated from the cloud to the on-prem infrastructure using on-prem storage, in this case, Cisco Hyperflex. Now let's take a look at the demo. We will start by going to the Red Hat Hybrid Cloud Console, where we can view and access all OCP clusters that the enterprise has deployed across both on-prem and cloud locations. For this demo, we've deployed two clusters, one in AWS where the application was developed that we will back up and migrate, and a second one on-prem hosted on Cisco Hyperflex where the production application will run using Cisco Hyperflex for persistent storage through the Hyperflex CSI operator deployed on the cluster. Before we start the demo, we will first verify the status of the SockShop application in each OCP cluster. The application should be running in the AWS OCP cluster because that is where we developed it, 
and it should not be running on the on-prem cluster because we have not migrated it yet. So let's first navigate to the development OCP cluster in AWS as shown. As you can see, the SOC shop namespace is configured with several pods running the containerized application components. We've exposed the route to the application so users can access it from outside the cluster. We will navigate to this route from our browser and verify that we can access it. Next, we navigate to the production OCP cluster running on Hyperflex and verify that the SOC shop application is not running on this cluster. Now that we've verified the current status of the application in both environments, but before we start the backup, restore, or migration use cases, we need to first create a location profile for each cluster from the CAST and K10 dashboard associated with each cluster. The location profile provides K10 with access to the external storage, either object store or NFS file storage, that K10 will use for backups and for enabling application migration between AWS and the on-prem Cisco Hyperflex cluster. Now that we've defined the location profile for both clusters, let's look at the two use cases starting with backup and restore. For this use case, we will first backup the application in AWS, make a change, and then verify that we can restore it. The change we will do will be to delete the route to the SOC shop application that allowed users to access the application from outside the cluster. Once we delete it, we verify that we cannot access it, and then restore it using an earlier backup and verify that we can access it again. Now we will look at the second use case, application mobility or workload migration from one location to the other. Here we will migrate the SOC shop application from AWS development cluster to the Hyperflex production cluster on-prem. The production application will also use Hyperflex for persistent storage. To enable this migration, we will use the CAST and K10 dashboard to first create an export policy in AWS to export the application data and metadata associated with SOC shop We will then create an import policy on the on-prem Kasten to import and migrate the application from the public cloud to the on-prem cluster. Now that the migration is complete to the on-prem cluster, we can now expose the application to external users by editing the route to point to the application running on the on-prem OCP cluster as opposed to the public OCP cluster.
we see that the migration was successful and that the SOC shop application is now running on the on-prem production cluster hosted on Cisco Hyperflex. This demo highlights the ease with which we can use CAST and K10 to backup and restore applications, as well as migrate applications from one cloud to another, from one storage to another, as in this case from AWS to Cisco Hyperflex. Kasten also provides a multi-cloud manager that you can use to centrally manage and provision Kasten in both environments, which should further simplify this process. We are currently working on a Cisco validated design for the solution in this demo. To access the previous hybrid cloud demos, scan the QR code provided in this slide using your mobile device. This concludes this demo. Thank you.